guide to redeem models and this is a test of the control gear we put together for a Yamata 2199 Bandai 1500 scale kit. We're only doing the control gear on this one although this has got LEDs in it at the moment just for testing wise. The client himself has already put the LEDs into his boat. Um, so what did we get with this one? Well as you can probably see there's a flashing navigation light, we've got interior lights on the main tower and interior lights on the observation posts. Um, the engine is all lit and there's a circulating function on there so as you can see there the engine looks like it's spinning round and there'll also be a couple of LEDs in there for the auxiliary engines underneath the main engine. As well as that there's functionality for the main guns and the wave gun at the front so if we operate the main gun first you'll notice as soon as we operate the switch that the rangefinder comes on and then the guns start blasting. Guns fire and then fade out and there's a total of 16 blasts in total in four banks of four. So we're into the second set of four now. The system, the actual software's been coded so that you get a pulse and then it fades out. And I think that's the third set and we're now into the last set. And then when that's finished the rangefinder goes out. The last bit then is the wave gun and what we were asked to do on this one was when the wave gun operates we turn off the internal tower lights. So there's the internal tower lights, they go off and the wave gun starts to pulsate. And, we're, and this one we're using a red, green, blue uh, three-way LED in the nose. Um, at the moment the red light's just pulsing and growing in intensity. Now the blue light's kicked in and again that's pulsing and growing in intensity. And then finally the green section will come in and just give one big six second pulse to show the gun firing and there you have it. And then when that goes out the main tower lights come back on again. And that's it complete, thanks.